just started out with a dream Turned it into a thing Turned it into a goal Poor boys diesel, look where we are Yeah We ready to fight, we ready to roll Fighting the cancer, fight for the goals Colder we roll, for mama Poe Shout out to Missy, shout out baby Poe Can't do it alone It's all part of the craft If you viewing at home Then you part of the family Yeah, it's Poe boys diesel Let's get started and let the pole roll. What's going on, co rollers? Po boys coming at you. Hey guys, today we're going to be working back again with the battle axe, as you guys can see over here. And today we're going to try to do just a little bit something else to continue the progress. So I think we might start off with the H pop and, you know, try to get that uh, settled in there just to make sure that all those orifices are covered. And we might just take, you know, a visual look to see what else we might need to cover in order for us to really give it a deep cleaning so we could continue forward making progress. Now, as you guys know, on the last video, uh, which was posted, what, two days ago, um, we had uh, the valve covers off uh, because we went ahead and removed all eight injectors from the truck and replaced them with the brand new set from Full Force Diesel. And uh, yeah, those, those, uh, that was a pretty simple uh, job to do, as you guys know. And, uh, but it's time to make more progress. Yeah, I always tend to start kind of late in the day to film, but it's because we have other obligations to take care of. And uh, yeah, what can I say? It's time to get to it. Let's go. Alright guys, so as you guys were able to see, we went ahead and uh, installed the H-pop on there and uh, everything is bolted down. Uh, it has not been torqued to spec yet, okay? We're going to torque this one in the front to 95 foot-pounds, that's what it calls, 495. And uh, back here, the small two bolts that hold the H-pop from behind, they go, uh, I believe it's 18 foot-pounds. 18 foot pounds or 18 yeah or inch pounds something like that I'll look it up just to be sure um, but yeah we'll get to that part next uh, oh, not next but pretty soon here but we want to do some more stuff okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up my desk area <laughs> clean up the area here get everything set in so that way we could uh, start unbolting these uh, brackets that hold the uh, alternators and the um, AC compressor because we're changing the fuel lines that's right we're gonna install the CNC four line fuel kit as you guys had seen on one of my unboxings so let's jump right to that part and there they are <laughs> hi baby Poe how you doing are you doing good good deal good deal I see you got your Batman shirt on very cool and what you got there, Mama? I got a Philly cheese thing and some fries. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Bye. That was a good cheese steak, guys. Now, I know it's not Philly, but it was homemade. Mrs. Poe takes good care of me when it comes to that. 
he went ahead and got some uh, ribeye, froze it up so that you could shave it down. So it's all homemade. It was really, really good. But now that my tummy is full, I better get to working or else I'm gonna... Right here. <laughs> so let's get started. Stepping stool in place here. All right, so we're gonna have to remove uh, this bracket right here and this one as well. So that way we could get to the fuel line that is back over here. And even though I could probably reach the one here, it's just easier to remove the bracket. It avoids you a whole lot of headache. And uh, I'm all about that. I'm all about avoiding the headache believe it or not so I'm just gonna put my uh, half inch breaker bar right in here oh, all right let me just get myself in a good position there we go put my half inch breaker bar right there like that pull on it a little just like so so that way we could remove the belt all right oh, I think I got my phone in my pocket and it's about to break the glass I'll just set it up over here for now. Annoying me, I'll probably break it even there. Yes, my look. Let me put it on this side better. Um, probably better off pulling than, pull, than pushing. There we go. Get the belt undone like so. Get this bad Johnny out of there. Take this belt down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump to the next phase here. So. valves down here and uh, if you guys are not aware uh, riffraff diesel cells a CCV which actually basically eliminates that check valve and there's like a little screen in there um, so they sell that that you could put on there as well as the one back on that corner of the engine um, however like I said it's not a necessity but you can do it. So far, I've had great success with the parts from Riffraff. This is not a paid advertisement. You know, they don't sponsor me in any way, shape, or form. I don't even get a discount. But I do talk to them, you know, every uh, so often. Um, because I'm always buying little parts and stuff to make sure. I like to use a lot of OEM bolts and stuff like that. I, I like to keep it real. But um, when it comes to 
their parts, the you know their own machined parts, the, their banjo bolts, those CCV fittings. Uh, they have a lot of great stuff, so I recommend them. However, for this uh, particular build here right now, I don't see it necessary, nor do I have them in hand. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it the normal way. We're still gonna get some gains. Okay, so let's go. Alrighty, guys. So as you guys see here, we removed the little plug right there, as well as the line that was coming right in here to feed. And now we're gonna start uh, by sorting out our CNC fab kit. You guys can see right up top here, I've already laid out the lines over the engine. Um, there probably won't be enough time today to do the rear and stuff, but I'm gonna give it as much as I can for now. Um, but they are all marked, I don't know if you could tell there, but we got PF for passenger front. And if you look at the next one up, something here by hand there we go this one here it says oh we can see it yeah DF for driver side front and the same goes for that line back there which is uh driver side rear and the one laying right here which is gonna be the, the passenger side rear sorry about the airplane they're never considerate with me they don't understand that I'm doing a video <laughs> No big deal. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, start putting these lines on, uh, specifically the ones in the front for now. And uh, we'll see if we can reach out to the back uh, in a little bit. But as of right now, I'm just trying to get these here so that way we could put back all of our brackets with the power steering box and the, I mean, the power steering pump and the alternator, as well as the AC compressor that goes over on this side with the bracket. All right, we'll stick to time lapse for a little while. All right, guys. So as you can see here, remove the fitting and also the little valve that I was talking about. Uh, Riff Raff also sells it, which eliminates the valve that goes here, which is actually the one I have in my hand. Now this is a check valve. Let me see if I could make it where you guys could see you can see a little screen in there and like I said there is a check valve in there as well and there's tons of nasties up in there so fortunately for us we don't need this because the CNC fab line actually needs to go directly into the head and obviously it won't bolt on to this fitting here okay so the thread pitch and size that goes onto the head is the size of the line provided with the kit okay so there's no way of putting it on with the check valve on there which is great news for me so I'm gonna go ahead get rid of this bad boy just like and it's gone <laughs> And uh, now we could proceed by removing this fitting so we could thread it on there and then accommodate the line. I know you guys could probably see the one on the passenger side. It's already installed. And it runs nice and neat, close to the head itself. Part in the bottle of water. I'm just trying to stay hydrated. And you can see the block. I've placed it in there. Let me see if I can get some light on the subject here that way you guys are not there we go so you can see the block has been installed it basically hovers over the freeze plug that for example on an OBS would be used to actually hold your mechanical fuel pump and that kind of goes over it on the four little bolts that or bolt holes that are there it ties right in so we got the base on we haven't tightened it down but I am using it as a reference so I know exactly where these lines are gonna go that way I don't kink them or bend them out of shape keep it all nice and, and uh, 
even and then once everything is set we'll tighten them down but I still got you guys on time lapse so that way you all don't have to suffer through this <laughs> and uh, yeah let's keep going see you soon All right guys, so as you guys were able to see on the time lapse, we went ahead and uh, finished the front side when it comes to the lines that we're using for fuel now with the CNC Fab 4 line feed kit. And uh, we went ahead and installed again the bracket with the AC compressor as well as the tensioner. And on this side we got the alternator bracket with the power steering pump. So we got those all buttoned up for now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on top and see what I could do back there. Actually, I should put on the belt first. Eh, that could wait. Let's go back there. Alrighty guys, so I'm stuck inside here anyway. Um, but yeah, we got the four line kit installed completely. You guys can see there the block and the hard lines coming out of it to each individual port of the heads. Got the two rear ones, you can see the up pipes right there. And we follow through onto the front, which I showed you earlier. I just think it, there it is, it goes through there, in between the reservoir and into the head like so. And on the other side over here, see right there where it goes following through right into the block or the distribution block that's what we called it <laughs> but yeah really um i like the fact that it does have a little port right here where you could actually put perhaps a, a pressure sensor for, for you to keep monitoring your fuel pressure that's pretty neat. Um, I'd probably be installing a digital one. That way I could always uh, read from inside and I have to be out here to check up on the little needle or, or of the, like a regular gauge. So this is gonna make it a little bit nicer. Um, keep in mind guys, this truck was basically still stock, you know, uh, and, and it is in a way. Um, it's not like I'm doing any major, major upgrades on it. But every little bit that we do, you have to find within yourself, you know, hey, is this something that's really going to help, you know, even if it's in a stock form? And absolutely. Okay, so this is going to make sure that both heads are receiving equal amounts of fuel okay because it injects it through the back as well as through the front on both heads there's no need for a return obviously since we'll be using one of the greatest products in the world fast fuel system so with a fast fuel we're probably gonna install here either a 140 or I might just step it up a little bit the price difference isn't much However, um, we need to do some more stuff. So I'm gonna make sure I put a plug on this, a plug on that. Obviously the H-pop is still plugged up with the little plugs that it came with from when they rebuilt it or whatever, they made it into a 19 degree H-pop. It's got those, it's got the one for the IPR in the bottom as 
as well. So she's pretty well protected for now. Uh, we do have these oil orifices open where the uh, H-pop lines go. So what should we do? I'm going to go ahead and plug them for now because I'm going to switch over. Oh, I think the light is kind of over killing it there. Exposure. Anyway, these fittings here are the, the kinds that you use the little clip, the, the, the tool to lift the clip and then it comes off. However, I'm not a big fan. Let's be honest. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of this towel of uh, fitting. Is it quick? Is it nice? It might be. It might be. Perhaps when it was new. You know, it was cool and nice and whatever. But, you know, when you start talking into a vehicle like this, that's, you know, what's this, a O2? So this is 22 years old. Am I right? Let me see. 2002. Yeah, to 24. So, yeah, uh, 22 years old. When you go to remove these, sometimes the clip in itself attached to the hose or line breaks from the inside and you can't retrieve it you can't really pull it off as a matter of fact these came out just fine on both heads and on the h pop the original h pop that was here it came out of one of them but the other one was definitely stuck and held there for dear life so yeah we're gonna change this system we're gonna go to like the OBS you know take this whole piece off put the one with the threaded uh, top that way we just hook up like everything else you know little threads rock and roll easier to work with less issues you don't have to oh my god where I put the tool to uh, undo the clips because, you know, they're, I mean, they're decent size, but they're skinny. They're, I don't know. It, it, it just, it's, it's just not for me. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate these and we'll put the regular threaded ones. And, uh, yeah, we'll put some, uh, brand new, uh, high pressure oil pump lines. And we'll also put a crossover line. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's not needed, it's not... Fine, I believe you, but I believe me too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I like them and I'm gonna keep on doing it. I've noticed a big, big difference on other vehicles that were like, kind of like uh, surging and I would put that on. Next thing you know, surge stops. Now, granted, some of them were uh, OBS some of them were super duties why it does it I'm guessing trapped there perhaps uh, you know more pressure going to one end than the other um, I don't know but this is actually what makes the equi ah, equilibrium you know it's gonna uh, make sure that both pressures are stable and even so that's gonna give you a smoother idle a smoother ride and uh, yeah, seems like everything came out pretty well. I feel bad that the H pop is a little dirty now. Sorry, but we'll clean it up. And like I said, you know, we're, we're actually buttoning up a couple things, but we are gonna give this a good cleaning. I did try to clean down, you know, down in the valley as much as I could. Granted, I just did a little, uh, what do you call it, a little, uh, brake cleaner spray and I uh, used a rag and make sure I took out all the gunk that was down there and let me tell you it was thick it was thick and deep I could literally stick my finger all the way down to the first knuckle of how deep the stuff that was down there was so I'm glad that well this old truck's got a new owner <laughs> and uh yeah, we're going to give her some love, so we're going to continue moving forward with it. However, right now it is late. I don't even know exactly what time it is, but Mrs. Poe, Baby Poe are in bed. He's got to be in school tomorrow. Mama Poe is in bed and Sister Poe. 
So the only one out here is that guy right behind the camera. Yeah. So, yeah. I think I'm going to call it here for now. But we did install the H-Pop. We did install the four-line kit. And as you guys know, we had to remove all the accessory brackets and take off the alternator with the uh, power steering pump as well as the bracket with the AC compressor and the, uh, what you call it, the tensioner, the belt tensioner so that way we could work a little bit easier. These fittings of the ends are pretty hard to get to uh, on the front side but all you got to do is remove these few bolts they're all uh i believe there were 13s yeah all of them are 13s and uh the ones in the back the fittings back here they're not hard to undo okay the, the factory ones are not hard to undo those came out like a breeze but when you're putting on the fittings these fittings are not straight fittings. They're actually like a 45 angle type deal. So it's a visual effect. You kind of look at it and at the same time your hand is wanting to hold it in a certain position. Although you should actually be looking straight into it and threading in. So it makes it really hard. Plus it's right next. Not, not as much the one over on the, on the driver's side. But the one on the passenger side, my oh my, yeah, that one is really hard to get to. Kind of reminds me why I don't like doing the <laughs> regulated returns to begin with. Um, but I'm glad that we're doing this. Um, hopefully we don't have any leaks. If we do, well, I guess I'm going to have to start all over again and make sure that's uh, nice and sealed on all four corners. But we're getting there, okay? So right now, this is basically uh, setting everything up. At the end, obviously, we're gonna do some, you know, nut and bolt check and make sure that everything is nice and tight and secure, no leaks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, everything looks pretty good. We're gonna call it a night here. I just wanted to say thank you because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And I am extremely ecstatic about you know how far we've come in such a short time after me you know taking a five-year hiatus due to my cancers but um, I'm really really happy that you know things are moving in that direction and I owe it all to you guys I really do as well as all of our sponsors and our supporters for the channel so you know as always I gotta say a big thank you to each and every one of them and uh, sometimes it's hard because there are nine of them, but you got uh, Power Hungry Performance, you got Brian Crower, uh, Rods and Engines, uh, you also have uh, Prime Weld, they're the ones that sponsored us with the uh, welding machine, um, and the, the a TIG and a MIG, both, um, in two different occasions. Um, we also got to thank Fast Fuel, because um, as you guys know, they sponsored us uh, and we're uh, working with them when it comes to Pegasus and stuff. Um, however, I'm going to have to give them a call because uh, this girl right here is going to need one. Okay? She's going to need one. And uh, I want nothing but the best when it comes to that. So if I'm going to go any direction, it's going to be with a fast. I also want to thank uh, the folk from Hot Shot Secrets. These folks, as you guys know, we are ambassadors for them, and uh, we are very proud to be it. Um, we have started, we, we have become a dealer for them, and we have uh, ourselves uh, a store that we're opening up, and it's taking forever. Apparently, it's really hard to find a web developer who sticks around, I guess, I don't know, and does the whole thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I still need to continue doing that. And uh, we gotta get all our paperwork together for multiple things, you know, it's not just one thing going on. And uh, you know, so yeah, a big thank you to Hotshot Secret. I said Fast Fuel, I said uh, Run BC, our uh, 
a Brian Crower, uh, Prime Will, Manette's Mega Shine. Jan, love you, man. I really appreciate these guys. I mean, Manette's has been with us since uh, 18. No, 18, sorry. 2018. Yeah. They've been with us for quite some time. Was it 18? 1921. Yeah. 2018. I met him at the Daytona Truck Show. Um, and ever since, we've always kept in contact. He's always been a sponsor for the channel, a supporter. And um, I have to appreciate everything that he does. And as you guys know, that's another product that we'll be selling in our store. You know, the Po Boys Hope Soap. Um, and uh, he is the person who makes it for us, okay? So the product that you're getting is actually made by Manette's. And uh, we're doing that for a special cost, obviously. We want to make sure that we take 25% of all uh, the net proceeds of that the Hope Soap. And we're going to be donating it to cancer patients. Um, and uh, the shirts. I mean, you guys heard the mess. I don't know if you have because I did it on social media. But I don't think I ever put it on... Did I put it on, on YouTube? I can't remember. But anyway, made a mistake, but that mistake is going to be a good thing. You know, these are the very first shirts that we've ever made here at Poboy's Diesel. They're awesome. They're, re they're really cool. So you can see it's got our logo in the front, and in the back we got Pegasus uh, doing a big nasty burnout over at the Orlando Speed World, which is our local track, and we used to race her there. Um... And it came out so beautiful, so beautiful. However, there was a misspelling issue with the art in the front. As you can see right here. Dizzle. Dizzle. Funny. I think we're going to use that word around here. But anyway, that misspelling doesn't really allow my heart to just, you know... I'm going to pretend it never happened and just sell them to everybody, you know, the regular price, 25 29 whatever it is. I can't do that. I really can't. So we have them on sale for $15.99 plus shipping. If you guys want one, please send us a message. Go to our Instagram, send us a DM, or go to our Facebook, send us a DM. Uh, go to our TikTok, send us a DM. Snapshot, send us a DM. Pinterest, send us a DM. Matter of fact, if you're on YouTube, don't send us a message down below because you're going to get lost there. Um, but you could always reach us at our email. Okay, now this email is obviously for business purposes only. It's not a, hey, how you doing type of deal. <laughs> so, poboysdiesel at gmail.com. Send us an email there. Let us know, hey, I want a shirt. And let us know your size so that we could make sure we have some left. That's another thing. There's only 180 that we put out for sale. Okay, so they are basically limited quantity, even though there was 500 purchased. Okay, those 500 are no longer. So there's only 180 of them available. As a matter of fact, 178. Because our friend from Manette, John, he purchased two of them. And they're both signed, so they're authentic. I'll say it on video right now, so in the future, no need to authenticate, uh, authenticate, but just like him, you could get yours signed if you'd like, okay? I can sign it for you. If you guys want Baby Poe to sign it, I don't know. It might look like he spilt spaghetti on it and finger paints and all that stuff, but we could do Mama Poe or Sister Poe, maybe Mrs. Poe, or just me. Or all of us. Why not? All of us. Why not? However you like it. But I'm going to be honest. It's going to look a whole lot neater with just one signature on it. So it doesn't look, you know, overcrowded. Um, and like I said, these are going to be something to hold on to. Number one is a conversation piece. Okay? You guys could make fun of me because of the misspelling. Okay? I didn't make the shirt and I didn't do the misspelling. However, I approved the art when they showed it to me. So it's my fault. Um, and I blame nobody else, okay? So with that being said, $15.99, guys, if you guys want to help out the channel, you want to see more videos more often, more frequent, so I could continue buying parts, continue buying the cameras, getting a, 
you know, a videographer to help me out so that way I'm not running around like crazy. And uh, you want more content and get to the Pegasus finally, as well as, you know, Ugly Betty over there. Um, we're not pushing, but we're letting you know, hey, it's the truth. That's why we do the merch, okay? We do merch, we sell, we gain, and we use it towards the projects, more videos, which is projected to you guys eventually. So, yeah, $15.99 plus shipping. So, give us a message, send us a message on either place. Like I said, it could be my email, poboysdiesel at gmail.com, or it could be a DM directly at any of the social media platforms, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, okay? Either one, even Pinterest, okay? So you can send us a message on any of those platforms is that if that's where you're watching us. Uh, but if you're here on YouTube only, just send us an email. No problem. As long as it's only for that, please don't overcrowd our emails. We get enough already in the business side of things. Um, so we don't want to overcrowd with just, you know, gibber jabber. So I'll probably open up a second email and have it ready for you guys. And, you know, I'll jump in there every once in a while, talk with you guys. But you have YouTube and you could comment right below, okay? And I appreciate every single comment. So comment below. Hit a like. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to call it a night. I don't even know how I'm going to get out of this position where I'm at. I don't know if you can see from there. But, yeah. I got a brake booster right on my ribs. I got one leg inside here. The other leg is sticking all the way out there. And my bum is sitting on the wheel well, which is made out of plastic. I don't know. I don't think I should be in here anymore. I think it's time for me to take a break clean up the mess of tools I'm almost scared to show it but when you're working alone you're running the cameras you're doing so much stuff it gets messy but I do clean it up and you know put it away but yeah why not I'm gonna show you you guys are family so you can see there there are tools to be put away everywhere boxes and whatnots and then you got whatever's up in here you know, and whatever I'm sitting on that does not feel good. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Put everything away. Give myself a good scrubbing. Anyway, I love you guys. God bless you. And let the cold roll. Dragon drive door, black smoke